<clears throat> Volta alla comunità valenciana. Now, I would love to bring you the footage, but unfortunately, Eurosport will get rid of the video, delete it, or I don't know, give me a copyright strike. Anyway, Adam Yates took the win. Good lad, love the man. But anyway, unfortunately, Adam Yates does not post on Strava, but you know the deal. Guess who came second? Of course, Mr. Consistent Alejandro Valverde. So, Lord, uh, old Alejandro Valverde, he uh, does have Strava. His name is Balan. Bala Balan, and he is a bit of a legend. So anyway, 887 kilometers, about five hours, 268 weight average power. So I reckon that'll be about 280 normalized or something for five hours almost, which is, uh, you know, very solid from the young man. Uh, well, I guess he's pretty old. Can't call him a young man anymore. All right, so the stage uh, was basically pretty climby, like queen stage, obviously, um, and then a nice sort of like 10 minute climb at the end. Um, so we can look at some of the climbing numbers from before. 275 watts that's about four four and a half to 4.6 watts per kilo so to be honest that's not that hard um like really i mean pretty much anyone can keep up with that um for sort of like half an hour or whatever obviously it's towards the end of the race again 250 watts that's less than four watts per kilo um it's really not that impressive um but what is impressive and what is incredibly impressive is his last climb uh so nine minutes 430 watts you're like it's pretty solid, it's pretty solid. I mean, like, no matter what weight you are, 430 watts for nine minutes is pretty solid. When you, when you figure out that Alejandro Valverde is 62 kilos, it then starts to get a bit more ridiculous because you realize that's 6.9 watts per kilo at the end of a stage for close to 10 minutes. Um, and, you know, like that, that's the sort of level it is. And it's not even f consistent. Look, he does sort of surges up to 827 watts when he closed the gap. So there was sort of a gap happening here. And then towards the end, he surges to try and get up to Adam Yates. Um, but yeah, I mean, going up a 10% gradient at 19 kilometers an hour is, is very, very rapid. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of level these guys are at. Um, and it really does just every time I see their power data, it just makes me think these guys are outrageous. Like, look at that 10 minutes, 427 watts. 6.78 watts per kilo for 10 minutes not even fresh that's at the end of a stage at the end of like you know four or five days of decent racing like that is unbelievably impressive um and it goes to show again that pros watts per kilos genuinely i think that reckon valverde could hold 400 for like 20 minutes i'd say and that would you know give him close to seven watts per kilo for 20 minute power um i reckon he would be around that maybe a little bit less um, but yeah, for sure, um, yeah, um, okay, fine, 400 is more like 6.6 .6 for him, but like, I mean, their 20 minute power is absolutely unbelievable, it could potentially, like, I mean, Contador came out with 7.4, and I know other people are like 7 or what's per kilo for 20 minutes, and I, I think maybe Valverde's not as pure a climb as some of those guys, but he'd be re like well up there, um, but yeah, it's just quite frankly unbelievable the power, um, that these guys do, um, I mean, we can look at, like, the sort of time gaps for everyone else. So, Yates is probably doing similar. Pelo Bilbao, I mean, all these guys are sort of similar levels of 7 watts per kilo-ish um, for 10 minutes, which, it, you know, it is, it is nuts. Like, okay, maybe a little less than 7, but even so, like, it's really hard to contemplate. So, there was also, this was also raced in um, the Vuelta a España two years ago, I reckon. Um, we will see, but yeah, you know, it's, um, there's not much, to, more, much more to be said. The guys can climb at, you know, 2000 VAM almost for eight minutes. Most people can do that for, you know, a couple minutes here or that. Um, Jack Haig, 430 watts, um, and you know, he's 30 seconds behind. And I guess that's in the Vuelta though, isn't it? Yeah, Vuelta two years ago. Um, and the bloke who got on the stage was Alexei Lushenko. He was, he was fast that stage and, um, uh, Mahawi Kudus came second, I believe. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. Um, if you want me to do any more race footage, I might do the Etoile de Bessege because I can get footage for that. So I reckon I might do a bumper highlights tomorrow, potentially. Um, and just, you know, bang them all out. Um, see if they get some views. Because I reckon they won't get taken down because Eurosport isn't covering it. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. And see you in the next one.